made it to Touristville. Ubering back to the hotel because it was just too hot to do to even figure out like public tra transportation, which I guess is what the trolleys are. I just thought they were kitschy and cute, but people just use them like public transportation. Speaking of, but now my husband is working, he's on a work call. You know, work life is still part of things. Sigh, lissai. But uh, saving up for the boat requires it. So we work hard, we play hard. Well, we work medium, we play medium. Time. Uh, and we can see when they come through, but we can't see what happens after the fact. So we need to make sure that you guys. You know, just, just put in a little notes, especially if they're successful, because that means that we're going to continue that campaign or pour money, more money in that campaign. Or we made it to Touristville. Yeah, we did. Thank you. This house on the sunrise. It's certainly what I came here for. Uh, uh, we need to make sure we get some change for the musicians. Cat drove us out to this place called uh, Cafe du Monde. Uh, apparently, this is the place for uh, beignets. They got they got a couple of lines. Pro tip: go to the back line. It's uh, shorter. However, you're in the sun. I'm using my hat to shave this cat. I look ridiculous. She'll burn. She'll burn like a beignet in the sun. I see people all over this place wearing dark clothing. <laughs> it's like in Louisiana, you know if somebody went out for beignets for lunch. This is my wife sitting naked at a restaurant eating eating beignets. No. <laughs> She's trying to show you her boobs. Make sure that you blur that out, editor cat. <laughs> They're good. They're really good. Nice. See why they are famous. Yeah? Yeah, but I'm gonna have to compare them. To other bin bang nets that you get other places? Exactly. Nice. <laughs>
right, welcome to the, well, I don't know what kind of suite this is at the Ace Hotel. Hey, do you know? I think it was the King Deluxe. Okay, welcome to the King Deluxe suite at the Ace Hotel. And we have a, a lovely seating area here. Uh, it's got a, kind of a black faux leather plus suede couch and a nice little seating area also here with a, our own records. Um, we have a mini bar with wine glasses in case we want to drink the wine and our mini bar. They also, oh that reminds me, we have some beer in here to take with us. Mm -hmm. uh, have a selection here. So far we've just been desperate enough to get the water and otherwise bought our own stuff because we're smart like that. Um, the bed is the, you know, main thing in the room, but I like the little touches, like we have exposed um, sprinkler system and then some sort of exposed, I have no idea, but it's cool looking, you know, I don't know, I like it. And then over here we have a wardrobe. In our wardrobe. Where's the lion? Where's the witch? There's no lion or witch, but there is for some reason only one, but one, uh, rope. I could fit in there, but instead, Chris is nice outfit fit in there. Also, I love the windows. Which right now are hiding thunderstorms from us. But yeah, huge windows. Fun. It's a great place. I've, I've really enjoyed my stay here. Last but not least, how could I forget this, is this section of our abode. And it's curtained off, which at first I think Chris thought that was going to be the only thing between us and the actual toilet. No, no, no. First, we have our vanity area, which um, is for washing your hands, but also for getting ready, which I appreciate. And then in here we have a lovely shower, bath, and commode area. I really liked my shower because I could just like shower and walk straight out and not have to worry about shutting uh, any sort of doors, which I don't know why that's hard, but they can be. Um, yeah, it's nice. I like the coloring in it. This whole place has a very, I, I, I said a very male vibe, and it is. It's kind of a male vibe. But, uh, but fancy, fancy me ride. Like I want to go riding horses. Oh, that's very womanly of you. No, that's, no. Mm -hmm. Women love, love riding horses. That's not what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. All right, so today. Today, it is the first day of our NOLA trip. Yeah, and how has it been? Uh, tiresome, tiresome and hot, and and a little bit damp and sounds negative. Envious because of the beignet thing. I know. We saw. Um, you sit there and watch me eat all the beignets. No, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's been uh, it's been tired because you know we, we read it out here, and uh, I'm not saying that was a mistake by any means. Uh, we're taking a bit full advantage of the time. However, I gotta say. I'm not in my 20s. I'm feeling this. I have to say, I am in my 20s, apparently, because I feel fine. Um, granted, that has come with quite a bit of coffee, with extra shots, and uh, some alcoholic drink of some sort that I feel like maybe have contributed to helping um, how I feel. Uh, it has been extremely hot. We did do most of our walking and yeah, just being active in the morning, which I think was super helpful and smart. Tip to future come in Juners, which who does that? But apparently we do. Here's what I wonder. One of the things we did was apparently go to the French Quarter on accident and that's where Cafe du Monde was. Um, it was a long line. The beignets were delicious but I want to try them somewhere else because it felt really touristy and I want to see if they're as good somewhere else without the touristy aspect. 
everywhere we went, I kept running into plaques and finding out more and more about it. Like we found uh, the place where um, Spain originally handed over Louisiana to the French and then the same place where the French handed over to the United States. Um, we saw where the one of the founders of New Orleans used to live. Um, you know, just everywhere you go, there's all these things that kind of really describe the historical nature of where they're at. Honestly, I, there's this history everywhere. I would love that if that was where I lived. You know, if I lived in a place where, like, you know, we have a hundred year old bridge right next to us, like, then yes, it goes, yeah, these people were the ones that, like, made this happen. Why? For what? What was around there? I would love more information, like, everywhere. You know, tell me, what? on this place, nothing happened. Um, you know, I just don't think um, hanging out as a vampire in New Orleans is the same as it was in like the 70s. You know, things have changed. I agree. Poor vampires. Yeah, you, know, you, you got to worry about uh, a lot more gun crime, apparently, you know. And if you're I've a vampire, seen no guns. I've seen no guns either. But this, you know, when I kept on looking on YouTube, they're like, oh, there's. But of course, that's it. We're going to enjoy the rest of our time here. Mm -hmm. You will enjoy it with us. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, it says... Uh, we had our post-red-eye uh, afternoon nap. And now, yeah. coffee. We're going to the trolley. And uh, we're going to take a trolley down to food. That's it. We get on a trolley here. It takes us really five of the blocks we need to walk or go. And then we walk another few blocks. You mean, you carry me, because when there was only one set of footprints... You gave up, and I had to drag you. You saw the footprints, and you saw two little lines. That was that was two cat heels, just being like... Yes. This is not... I'm not embarrassed. It's uh, I like I like it. I would like it to have more Cajun kind of spice, like a little bit of that spice of the you know Cajun seasoning. But uh, it's nice and salty. When we get home, I'm making a gumbo. I've made a couple of great gumbos before. I just can't get crawdads out there. Not that I know. I've never seen crawdads available in California. My my sir. Yeah, I, I win. Yeah, you do. Always. Oh, and good. then I've got a uh, black and salmon. And I don't know mustard greens, I think. And greens? garlic mashed potatoes. Is that greens? Some sort of greens. Wow. <laughs> that could use a uh, nothing actually. It's great, but some Tabasco. Yeah. Hey, so uh, where are you, are you from down here? Where are yep, you from? Yep, yep. Uh, we're at a charity hospital. It's like about... Again.
things here. Just got to touch an alligator. Oh, no.